Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be breaking down the trailer, and we've got some exclusive news to you guys. It's big news, and it comes from a very, very, very reliable source. And I think you guys are going to freak out about it, and it's been said nowhere else, so, you know, this is exciting. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, obviously, The Flash was back this week, we had the Wally West episode, it was absolutely amazing, it was the best episode of the season. It really, really kind of brought me back to the reason why I love this show, and I was just so excited at so many points in this episode, I was like, this is why I love The Flash. So, hopefully, this week's episode is really good, it looks really good. This is the exorcism of Nash Well, so they're obviously trying to get Nash back. Because, as it was revealed last episode, Eobard Thorne is back. He has taken over Nash's body, and somehow, you know, he has returned. Obviously, we don't know the exact specifics right now. I guess we'll find out a lot more next week. But, this looks really, really good, and we're going to be breaking down this trailer after we go over the first piece of massive news that we have to break to you guys. So, if you remember back in the crossover in Crisis, one of the big, big surprises that no one expected was that Ezra Miller came onto the TV show as The Flash from Justice League. And, well, I've been told by a very reliable source that Ezra Miller is going to be returning to The Flash to the TV show for a cameo or for an appearance. We don't know as to how big he's going to be, and we don't know specifically when. I've just been told that, yes, he is returning, and he's going to come back at some point and we know that he will, but we don't know any specifics yet apart from he is coming back to the Flash TV show. So this is massive, like, what is the reason? Is it because of Crisis? I don't know what happened to Ezra's version of the Flash, you know, during Crisis. It kind of looked like he disappeared or something like that. But if he's returning, it has to be for some sort of reason, right? So maybe it has to do with, you know, what's going on with all the speedsters right now, and due to the fact that the speed force is dead, maybe we just get a cameo, we see him because Barry's creating this new speed force, and then you see, you know, different versions of speedsters, like Wally was talking about last episode, there's always a speedster who takes over, who can take up the mantle of the Flash. But, you know, he couldn't see that new version of the future. So, what happens if when they create this new speed force, they fix all the speedsters? Maybe you get Ezra coming in as the Flash and, you know, continuing where they left off from Crisis because it was just like a funny scene, a great surprise, a great cameo. So, this is absolutely insane. I really, really am so excited to see him return. And as far as my source is concerned, it's sometime in the near future. So, what do you guys think about that? That is crazy. I think you guys are really going to be excited for his return. I'm excited, even though he's not, like, the best version of The Flash. Like, he's nowhere near as good as Grant. I think just, you know, the whole idea that he crosses over from the films to come into the TV show is just a really cool concept. So, anyway, let's move on. And we're going to be talking about the trailer, so we're going to be breaking down this trailer for the new episode, episode 15, The Exorcism of Nash Wells. The trailer is good, and we're going to be breaking it down shot by shot. So the first shot of the trailer is, in fact, of Barry. Barry is, I presume, in Star Labs. He's sitting down, and he's got Iris, I believe, talking to him. And she says, I know that losing your speed is scary and so there's a few different lines like this and basically the whole idea of this episode is them creating this sort of artificial speed force and Barry you know not losing his powers or getting his powers back so that's why he looks kind of a bit down in this first shot we have Nash actually escaping reverse flash Eobard Thorn escaping or Barry brings him here seems like he doesn't actually have powers it's only Barry that still has powers and so yeah he speeds him over here he smashes him on the wall and so something ensues, like a fight or something, and it does seem like Reverse Flash actually gets out because you see it right here, we got Reverse Flash, he's got his glowing eyes that we saw last episode, but he's in his suit, and he's got his powers back, so what the hell is going on, how has he escaped, how has he got his suit back, how has he got his powers, obviously this is super exciting because Reverse Flash is one of the best villains in the Arrowverse, and I just cannot wait to see what they do with him. Hopefully he doesn't go like next episode or something like that. But I just think it's really intriguing to see like how he escapes. Is it because Barry pulls him out 
and then, you know, maybe Barry loses his powers or something like that, and maybe he, like, absorbs his powers or gets his powers in some other way. I'm guessing it's because, you know, he's in Nash's body that he can't actually use any powers. So maybe with the title of the episode being The Exorcism of Nash Wells, maybe they actually get Nash and Thorn to separate and Thorn gets his own body back because this version of Thorn in the suit looks a bit different he looks more like his normal self so is he not in Nash's body anymore and does he somehow get his body I don't know you know what is up with like his normal self but somehow he got into Nash and they do a sort of exorcism on Nash to get Reverse Flash out of him and then Reverse Flash finds his body he gets his powers back he can tap into the negative speed force and then he goes and attacks as he promised. Anyway, so, you know, this is a shot with him without his glowing eyes. He's sort of smirking. I presume that's at Barry. And then we go to a shot of Barry's hand who's clenching it. He's clenching it and he's about to, like, beat him up or something. And then we cut to a shot of him as Barry cries. And this seems to be in response to something that maybe Reverse Flash has done. It does seem like it's the same, like, environment you can see by the lighting. He is crying, so has Reverse Flash killed someone? What has he done to make Barry cry? But Barry is in fact crying. And then we move over back to Star Labs, and Barry is talking about using these speed enhancers, these speed boosters, and so basically, Caitlyn is the one in this trailer, as you can see from this next shot, trying to discourage him from doing that because it's kind of like Velocity 9 and stuff and you know there's massive consequences of that as you've seen by Zoom and other people in the past like Trajectory but we go to this next one and you see Barry actually with this speed booster and so he plans to use it to speed up and presumably defeat the Reverse Flash because I'm guessing maybe he's escaped by here and so we go back to the main cortex and you have Caitlyn just leaving Barry because she's kind of like fed up I guess and we see Reverse Flash inside this cave. I don't know where specifically it is, but it looks like Reverse Flash. It doesn't look like Nash's body because I believe they style his hair differently when, you know, he's actually Reverse Flash. But he's got his full suit, the yellow suit and the emblem, and he's looking super cool. He is about to beat someone up. He's about to probably kill someone because he clenches his fist in excitement. And so we move on and we got Barry. I'm presuming this is the speed booster like with inside his watch because it seems like he's like powering something up. So I presume it's that. But then we move on. We've got him still confronting Thorn who is still in Nash's body at this point. And so he pins him up to the wall and basically, you know, trying to scare him a bit, I guess. And so again, we just get like a shot reverse shot. We get like a different angle. But this time we get to see Reverse Flash's face. And we've got some sort of fight. I guess that's in Star Labs. It looks like it. And everything is really blue. Barry's in his Flash suit. So there is some sort of fight going on. And I believe he is fighting Reverse Flash. Then if we move on, we see a bolt of lightning hit the monitor in Star Labs. And this looks more like it could be either Barry like having one of those like glitches in the speed force or it could be reverse flash it's kind of hard to tell it's like a whole mix of reds oranges and yellows and I can't really make it out but anyway so we got this penultimate shot of the trailer where we see reverse flash smiling and he is kind of excited to kill people basically and so he has done something that has in fact forced Barry to cry you see Barry's face right here in the final shot of the trailer. He is really, really devastated. He is properly crying. So Reverse Flash has definitely done something. So leave your theories in the comments down below. Do you think he's actually killed someone or something like that? But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on Ezra Miller as The Flash. Do you think it's exciting that he's potentially going to return? And also, what do you think of this trailer? Are you excited to see the return of Reverse Flash like properly next week, like suited up and everything? I cannot wait. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.